Museums are among the most interesting tourist attractions in every city, offering you an insight into the culture and the history of the region that you're visiting. In Tehran, the Iranian capital, the Islamic Revolution and Holy Defense Museum explores the eight-year Iran-Iraq war and tells you more about the events that happened during that time. Covering an area of 21 hectares, the Islamic Revolution and Holy Defense Museum is the largest and most modern museum of Iran and one of the largest in Asia. Employing the most modern devices to display contemporary history of Iran, the main building of the museum consists of seven halls, each of which has been dedicated to a specific aspect of the Iran-Iraq War. تالار اول در مورد انقلاب اسلامی هستش بررسی میکنه که چطور در کشور ما این انقلاب به وقوع پیوستش و چطور زمینه های شروع جنگ توسط صدام بحثی فراهم شد و توی شش تالار بعد ما به چگونگی آغاز جنگ، حجوم سراسری، دفاع مردمی و مقوله های از این دست خواهیم پرداخت in the entrance, the Hall of Butterflies welcomes visitors with a display of personal belongings of the victims of the war found in different battlefields. There's also a chamber that showcases the city of Khurram Shah back in the 1980s. The city, which is located in Khuzestan province, southwest of Iran, and a strategic port that was attacked by Iraq during the war. What I personally find most interesting is that as you visit this museum, in a matter of hours, you find out more about the history of the Islamic Revolution and the eight-year Iraqi-imposed war. You find out about how it started, how it continued, and how it ended. And you learn about the brave men and women and the sacrifices that they made to defend their country. Video projections, photos and sound effects, even temperature adjustments have been made to take the visitors back to the actual times of the war. Even state-of-the-art visual effects have been applied to make this experience even more realistic. As visitors go from one hall to the other, they are left with unforgettable memories of the bravery of the men and women who fought the invading enemy. نقش هنر در جنگ در طول سالهای جنگ میتونست این باشه که ترقیب بکنه تشویق بکنه رزمنده ها رو برای حضور در جبه ها و دفاع از آب و خاک و کیان کشورشون و الان که سالها از اون موقع میگذره و حداقل جنگ فیزیکی در کار نیستش رسالت هنر زنده نگه داشتن یاد و خاطر اون روزها هست که مبادا فراموش کنیم که چطور مردانی در یک برهه درخشان از تاریخ کشورمون برای دفاع از آب و خاکشون و دینشون اینجوری سخت و جانانه جنگیدن the modern design and interior and exterior architecture of the museum stands out among other similar places in Tehran, which surely amazes any visitor. Actually, many visitors have described this museum as an unexpected package, which reveals a lot about Iranian modern history and must definitely be visited if you're staying in the city. Outside the museum, you can see a collection of all the military equipment that was used during the eight-year Iran-Iraq war. Uh, for me, actually, it's the first time I visit a museum about the war. Yeah, and I think um, the war between Iran and Iraq is an uh, uh, important history. The uh, first uh, museum about war uh, in my traveling experience, uh, but uh, the museum is uh, so uh, had many uh, photographs, had many movies to show the wars, show the people's suffering in the war. Outside the museum, there are different parts, such as the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers, the Flag Tower, an open area and a lake, conference halls, Khuram Shah Mosque, a library, and the Panorama Museum, all together offering a unique experience to those who are visiting the Iranian capital. Kisumi Shah Mahdi, for Iran.